from like diary of a wimpy kid or something, right? <laughs> and he collected when he was small, and then now he, it's like he has one hundred thousand bills already. Is this a true story or is this like diary of a wimpy kid? <laughs> <laughs> it's real. Because to, uh, yesterday this boy told me a story. Uh, John, did you read Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Do you know that story, that book? Yes, I have some of the book. Okay, in one of those stories, is there a story where the boy eats all the expensive chocolate and then when his mother comes home, he says the dog did it? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's great. And then um, yeah. Greg's mother took the dog right right to the vet to have the stomach pumped. Yeah, and so this boy, he said, I owe you one. Yeah, and so this boy said this really happened to him. And another student said, that teacher, Brendan, that comes from a book. He, that's not his true story. That was a, another student named Ellis. There are two Ellis's. The two Ellis's, by the way, are really similar. Ellis and Ellis, they're so much alike that I confuse them. Hey, Liam, how are you? Hello, Mr. Cow. <laughs> He's even talking like a cow now. Hello, Liam. Have you been <laughs> eating grass all day? <laughs> hey, uh, Liam, I'm really thirsty and hungry. Can I have a glass of milk? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's kind of gross because then, Liam, you'd have to squeeze your udders, you know, treat, 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 make fresh milk. <laughs> It'd be kind of gross. <laughs> But then Liam tells us, if you drink my milk, you become a superhero, right? <laughs> All right. How about um, Tu Din? What's your English name, Tu Din? You didn't put the English name up. Tu Din. Uh, sorry, I'll share. Can you write it in English? Tu Din, because then I'll remember who you are. I promise. Dude, what's your name? Is it? It's Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Thank you. Good work on your writing today, Jennifer. Ariel, good work on your work. Uh, Daisy, nice to see you, Daisy. And Kitty and Lewis. Very good. Let's check one of these things that you guys wrote for me from last week. Uh, we can do this with two. Alice number 11.5. Can you read what you wrote? Because I love this picture. It's kind of cool. This reminds me of my apartment in Taipei last year. And so this is why my apartment wasn't purple, but it was about the same size. And it looked kind of like this, except the bed was on the floor. So Alice, would you like to read this cool place? It has a bunk bed and a gray colored sofa under the bed. It is a cozy space. In the picture, the stairs are attached to the bed so people can climb to the bed. Mm. There are small pictures stuck onto the wall beyond the sofa and the bed. We can notice there are two white curtains next to the bed. The sofa looks soft and many colorful pillows are on it. And also a pink blanket. Mm. In front of the sofa, there's a small round table with lights food and random stuff on it. I bet that we all notice yellow lights were hanging and dangling just under the bed. I would enjoy living in this cozy environment place. Yeah, Alice, if you were in a place like this, would you stay inside in a lot or, you know, even yes. on sunny days? Yeah. Yes. And picture, what would you actually, do? Actually, yeah. I, I found this picture on the internet. It is not an AI model. Okay. I'm just joking about the AI model. Do you know why I said AI model, Alice? Because you wrote oh, Alice 11. Ah. That's the joke. Alice 11.5 sounds like AI model. Oh. There's my joke. Hey, Alice, um, what would you do if you stayed inside all day in a nice place like this? I don't know, sleep and eat. <laughs> sleep and eat. Hey, what would you eat? Chocolate or healthy food? Maybe healthy food. Oh, very nice. By the way, these lights are beautiful, but I was wondering if at night I was trying to go to sleep, would I just turn off all the purple lights and just leave these nice yellow lights on? Maybe. Maybe. Hey, where's Tim? I don't see little Tim here today. Oh, I see uh, lots of homework is finished, but I don't see where little Tim is. John, do you know what happened to your Hanoi friend, your Hanoi amigo, Mr. Tim? Uh... 
Then he went to Tim Country. <laughs> Tim Country. There's an entire country called Tim Country. Tim Land. Oh, wait a minute. Is this it? Did Tim join us? Wait, we have two late homeworks, but this is from a long time ago, you guys. All right. Um, let me see. Is Doong here? He wrote me a, some, a, some nice homework. Uh, I see Daisy. I see Kitty. I see Lewis. I see Ariel. Is uh, is Doong here? Is that T Toy? Who is who is T Toy? T Toy, you're laughing and smiling. Talk to us. Who is this T Toy? I think he is hugging. It's Havy. Oh my gosh, Havy! Is that really you? That looks like Havy's older sister or her mom jumped into the screen. Where's that little Havy? We want to see that, that little Havy. Me. That is my nickname at home. Oh, okay, Havy, you look different. Are you like totally in summer mode already? I am in um kind of a uh, vacation. Oh, I thought so. You look so relaxed now. You don't have yeah. to go to school with Potato. Potato is maybe making you crazy. <laughs> no, he's not making me crazy. He's making someone else crazy. The he's girl. He's a and he will, <laughs> he will go on vacation with me to in like some next day. Okay, so he's a good friend. He won't make you so crazy. All right. Yeah. Hey, is John 12 there from Dong Nai? John 12, how are you, John? Hello, teacher. Hey, John, your writing improved. You were ending your sentence quicker, and I was happy to see that. Thank you. You got my yes, message. I forgot that is we can replace the you with uh, we or us. <laughs> yeah. Alice 12, you said Greg poisoned a dog. Alice, that story is from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. John, did you read Diary of a Wimpy Kid? See, my nephew Patrick said, never give chocolate to a dog. It's like poison. And I didn't believe him. And then my other nephew, who's a lawyer, super intelligent guy, said, no, it's true, Uncle Brendan. Chocolate is really bad for dogs. They get diarr uh, diarrhea of a wimpy kid, Alice said. That's very funny, Alice. <laughs> because if you give a dog chocolate, it gets diarrhea. That's actually what happens to the dog. It means it just runs. It doesn't poop. It just runs. Water runs out of it. It's really dangerous. And the dog can die. It's terrible. Lewis, are you there? I like Lewis's sort of chill uh story of the um nice room to live in let me see where that is lewis i see tony and i see ruyoko these are last night students lewis i can't find yours um it's about that computer room that you really liked but i don't see it it would be today that i read your work um well i'll tell you what um let me see today, today. There it is, Lewis. Hey, Lewis, would you like to read about this computer room? Because I thought this was kind of cool. Actually, mm -hmm. really cool. All right, so let me put this one down. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put the share on again so you can read about Lewis's computer room of the future. There we go, Lewis. Would you like to read it, my dreaming room? OK. I always want to decorate my room in the future, and here is the picture showing you about my room setup. Uh, my room, my dream room setup. I have found that I'm very interested in PC gaming and graphic art. So in the future, I want to have a room that has a good PC gaming to serve for my entertainment and my studying. Beside my room, you plus a visitor eyes at Let's look with uh, one that's decorated with a lot of perfect poster and more than that lights. In my opinion, the room that make you that make us feel comfortable is a room that's covered by a good smell. For that reason, I put an essential mean oil diffuser in my room to make me comfortable when I study and sleep or play games in my room. Uh, because of my love of for figure, I will decorate my room uh, with many pockmarked want to be figure. That's what I want to say about my room room setup. How about you? Yeah, I really like this room, Lewis, because the blue light would completely relax me if I came home from work and I could yeah. sit in a room like this and relax. I don't know if I would play computer games. I would leave this screen monitor on and just enjoy this room. I wouldn't want any other stimulation. Hey, John 11, you like computer games. Would you like a room like this? Uh, I don't play computer games. 
Oh, you don't really? Okay, what do you do for enjoyment? I read books and watch film. Oh, that's good. I'm happy you do that. That's really good. Hey, I want to see something here. There was a cool presentation. Um, I wanted to show you if I can go down to the bottom. Let's find out where Tim is. Oh, I couldn't find Tim, you guys. So our first thing for um, the first homework someone gave me was really cool. I'll show you this. Uh, she just wanted to enjoy. This is really funny. I, I kind of enjoy this. Let me see if I can do this. Um, okay, wait one second. And I have to make it small. And are you guys ready? This, this is kind of cool. Okay, here's the share screen. And I'm going to go to Zalo. Hey. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. It's getting some feedback. I'm sorry about this, you guys. Where's my Zalo? Come on, come on. This is crazy what's going on. Okay, wait. I'm going back to Zalo. How are you Hello, Zalo. And that is Kitty's voice, but they, uh, where is Kitty's presentation? The window? Oh, no, you guys, I can't get Kitty's presentation. Well, they seem to be discussing something. Okay. Uh, Hermione were looking for some information. Uh, can you hear Harry her? and Rob are wait, were waiting, waiting for Hermione. Uh, old tables and chairs and some other book. Just a, a magical world, so they seem to be able to function and talk like humans. On this table, there are two unique lands. Books on the shelves in a usual order. <laughs> Um, they are arranged specially in the order from small to large. Oh. Uh, the book cover also looks very eye catching. Eye catching. Um, and most of them are huge. Oh, and ancient book. In the library, uh, top. Yes, you please. guys, this is your classmate, Kitty. I'm sorry we then couldn't get this right. Hey, the Kitty. Author, Here's Kitty. The book, the old ancient book also often have, the old ancient book often have smell like chocolate, mm, smell like the rotten vegetable, vegetable, nice. rotten vegetable. and sometimes, <sighs> I don't like a uh, nature wood skin. That is the end. Thank you for your listening. <laughs> Very nice, Kitty. Thank you so much. Okay, so pretty cool. I liked it, Kitty, because you use these facial expressions. And I thought that's good. Did you take the debate class during winter time with me and Michael teacher? No, okay, because uh, Michael from Australia was teaching the kids in the debate to use their hands. Ellis, do you remember that, Ellis 12? Michael was always teaching the students to use their hands and their face. So Kitty just knows how to do that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, there's Ellis doing, do we, no, Ellis, what are you talking about? You remember the Michael things, right, in the debate class? Oh, she's doing the gestures. I don't know. <laughs> Very funny, Ellis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, Alice, you have a really good uh, sense of comedy, sense of humor. It's pretty funny. All right, you guys. And I just want to do one more of these writing things for you guys. I want to do uh, Alice's, uh, not Alice, uh, where are you? Um, 
someone gave me a nice one. Ariel, you did a nice job. Let me show you. I did this. Um, this is the one with this amazing writing, Ariel. So Ariel, if you can share yours and we'll have Ariel read. And I changed all of your you, 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 you's. Now, I chose this one, you guys. If you start with a writing, keep we or I or we are I. Try not to use you. About 10 students put so much you, 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 you into their writing. But if you change from I and we to you and you, it gets really confusing. It's like, who are you talking to? So don't worry, Ariel, you weren't the only student who did this. A lot of students did this. So it's, you know, I'm not going to punish you and say, this is terrible because everybody did this, Ariel. Okay, so uh, is Ariel here today? She kind of disappeared. How about Haley? If I can't find Ariel, would you like to read Ariel? Oh, there's Ariel. Ariel, are you there? Ariel, are you there? Alice, you are here. Ariel, are you here? Ariel, Ariel, where are you, Ariel? Mysterious Ariel. <laughs> I don't see Ariel. Hey, V, can you read this for us then? Because you like to read. It's nice writing, and it's kind of a fun imagination Ariel has. So, Ariel, if you can hear me, Havy's going to read your writing for you. Are you ready, Havy? Here you go. Okay. Homework, my rooming house. Have you ever thought of living in a small house? I have thought like that, and here are my thought about my imagination house. First, beside the window, I can see the curtain that can open and close when we stay open or close. The light switch automatically turn on when we sleep in the kitchen. When we step in the kitchen, step into the kitchen. When I wake up, I breakfast will fry chicken, hamburger, and a small pizza with melted tea with small cream and ha has already been cooked by a toy of robot. I sit down on the chair that claim robot will make some yummy ring so I can have a yummy breakfast when I go outside the weather is bad. Mm. When I go I when I go outside the weather is bad but I don't worry Robo or my robot or everything outside for the ugly weather to pass. Most the most amazing place that I can imagine is a lovely kitchen. The top driver counting fresh clothes, which are for pizza to be put in. Beside it is a small, it is a small oven that will cook my lunch meal when I say cook for the dishes. I do not need to wash them, but there is a special machine that wash them. Every day when I come to home, when I come home from a busy day in school, the big team, we will play my favorite anime. The sofa is huge enough for a hundred people to see in it, so I will have plenty of space to see. The cafe is standing on the couple, so the small robot will get it and make me some cafe. Besides it, there are some lamps that will set my perfect background for my dinner. The marine dinner is yummy. Steak, steak, french fry, and melted tea. If I want some coca, the robot can get it and pour in a cup for me enjoy what a lovely home for me and my family to live in maybe in the future there is a house like that and we finally will buy yeah maybe she should put i i will buy it. yeah i will buy it good oh, oh, oh 
I definitely will buy it. Hey, did you see her breakfast is fried chicken, hamburgers, and a small pizza? Do you, do you, don't you think that's dinner? Yeah, I think that you know. <laughs> that's <laughs> dinner. <laughs> that's why I thought this was a funny story. Ariel, nice work if you're there. Um, I just want to do one more. Doing you showed up. So thank you for reading, Ariel. Um, um, hey, V, thanks for reading. And um, Doong, I have your thing corrected, and I want you to read it. Is that okay, Mr. Doong? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, of course. Let me see what we got here, Doong. I got to go into the right basic writing for Mr. Doong, and this is quite good. I I think you did a really nice job with this because Doong, um, you remember, and maybe two or three other students remembered. We want some sensory details like smells in there, right? And it can be a sort of a strange smell or a bad smell too. So here's doing reading about this room. Uh, okay. This picture here represents a high end considered to be luxurious bedroom in the 1900s. Back then, most furniture and materials to build and decorate the house were made out of wood. So stepping into the house would give off an earthy, woody smell. Back then, most beds didn't have a mattress, but this one has a special mattress made with expensive cotton for the best sleep experience. In the 1900s, a bedroom would also consist of everything a bedroom nowadays would, though something different could be that there are no cabinets. As we see in the picture, the bedroom storage is used as a chest. We can also see pictures, chairs, or lamps like any other bedroom. Personally, I wouldn't stay in this bedroom because of various problems. Wooden structure can destroy, can be destroyed by many kinds of bugs which are common here in Vietnam. But still, I would love my bedroom to have this woody, earthy smell. Yeah, it's a good point. You know, I'm doing when I lived in Taipei, the Taiwanese people would ask me about Japan and they said, are the houses really made with a lot of wood? And I said, yes, they're, it's not so, it's only hot in July, August and September, but all the rest of the year, it's really cool and sunny. So um, our house has a lot of wood and the Taipei people were surprised to hear that because everything there is made of concrete because of the bug problem, right? Hey, um, doing another thing about this old room, I'd be afraid of ghosts in a room like that, right? <laughs> I just I just think like an old room like that would have a ghost problem, but that's just me. All right, thank you, Doong. I really liked it. You did a great job. You remember the smells and the things like that. Wonderful. All right, let's see what we've got here, you guys. Today's lesson, I need the two Johns are our really fast readers, John 11 from Hanoi and John from Dong Nai. Hey, John 11, can you help me with some reading? Is Mr. John there? John, I'm going to ask you to unmute. Oh, what happened to John? Did he disappear? Wait, where's that John? Hey, John 11 from Hanoi. Hanoi John. Okay. Hey, um, John, this is a lot, but can you read all of this? Because you're a fast reader. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's start with some review from the last few weeks. Remember how we concentrated in the five senses? We can list these as questions to ask yourself while you get ready to write. What I saw, what I heard, what I smelled, what I felt, what I tasted. Do you notice that these are all what questions? There are how, what, where, who, when, and why. The combination of these two sets of questions can clarify a lot of what you want to say in writing. So you need not to feel stressed when you have a writing assignment. As we are close to the end of our 10 week session, we can ask some good questions too. Here they are. Did you keep your audience in mind? What are you talking to? Who are you writing to? Classmates, teacher, friend, parents, brother, sister, or maybe even your grandmother, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> this is crucial details that will interest the people reading your work. Did you make 
your first sentence especially interesting so that readers will want to continue reading? Did you tell the events in order, the time order, so you make it clear when the events happen? Did you use spatial words? These are seeing the seeing description. What did you see in the room or what did you see around your school? Did you use other sense words? How many senses were you able to use? Did you use sentences you did you use sentences using different length and style to keep the writing interesting? Last week we learned long and short sentence style. The yeah. end. The end. So hey, many John, more. Great reading. So I'm gonna give you a little present here. Tim's not here, so this is all for you. So um All right, John, there's your present. Do you like it? Can you read it? Who is how when? I got you. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, John from Dong Nai, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, John, can you read this next piece? Yes, and finally go through this grammar checklist. Each sentence begin with a capital letter. The sentences end with the correct punctuation, parallel question mark, exclamation point. The sentence that a complete true. When the fraud is over, I end it. I know commas are commas are with more and more information. Example, Jill came home from school. She was tired. Her mother smiled at her. She was happy to see Jill today. Oh, so bad. Jill came home from school and she was tired. Her mother smiled because she was so happy to see Jill today. Nice. Hey, um, can you read a little bit more for us, John? You did a nice job. I'm going to give you the next part here. Right. Now, with the, all these things to remember, we can avoid a, so a storyline. We will start this in class tonight, and then you can do your homework. Our final class next week, you will read your new story to the class. I think it is your story to the class. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at some of the detail of the good storyline. Setting a book has a setting telling when and where the action takes place. Plot a plot is a series of events and a problem that need to be solved. Tradition and interest story has beginning. So it has a beginning, a middle, and an end to make this story clear and fun to read. And this one, John, description words. Yes, description words tell about character, setting, and events. Description words can be used in all parts, members, or both. All right, and I'm going to correct this because John found my mistake. Your story to the class. All right, so for our last one, we have two classes to do this. We're going to work on it tonight, and then you can do a little homework, and then we'll each person can read next week. We'll have a final class with good reading. Um, but I have Max's message, and I want to pick a student who hasn't had a chance. Bone, would you like to read uh, Max's message here? It's a story about Max. It's a sample three-paragraph story. Can you read this one? Okay. Okay. So we. So I read the part that if just make it blue. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah. Yeah. Max's message. Today was Max's teacher's birthday. And Max woke up late. He scrambled around the house to get ready, brushing his teeth while putting on his school socks. He grabbed a fresh apple from the kitchen on his way to the bus stop. He made it to the bus stop just as the bright yellow school bus was pulling up. After Max hung up his red winter coat, he sat down at the desk in the middle of the room. Max then realized that he had forgotten Miss. Emery's birthday card at home. He hadn't put it in the backpack last night, and he has forgotten to grab it from the kitchen table on his way out. What was he going to do? 
It was too cold outside to have recess. So Miss Ermy brought out the art supplies, and the students spent the recess drawing and writing. Max grew up a huge birthday cake with glowing candles and five layers. He wrote his name on top and took us to Miss Ermy. Happy birthday, Miss Ermy, Max said. Yeah, nice reading, Bone, and here's the birthday cake. He drew it. This has one, two, three layers. Max did a five-layer cake. Nice guy. Hey, Naken, good to see you. Naken, can I ask you some questions? Yes. Hey, Naken, we have the three-paragraph story. Who are the main characters of this story? <clears throat> the main character of this story is Max. Yeah, and one more person? Miss mm, Emery. Yeah, Mrs. Emery. Good, good. And the action takes place in two settings or places. What are these places, Naken? Mm, at Max's house and yeah. at his school. Very good, at his house and the school. And what is the problem Max has to solve, Naken? Mm, he forgot Miss Emery's birthday card at home. Nice, so, so what is what does he do to solve it? Uh, I'm sorry. At recess, it was too cold to play outside, so Miss Emery part brought out art supplies and he drew her a new birthday card. Yeah. Um. Do you think it's a good solution that Max did? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think he's kind of lucky too that it was too cold outside, <laughs> so he could stay in and do artwork? Definitely. Definitely. Nice. Nice. Hey, you guys. I want to show you one other thing. Do you guys know from American movies that the school buses are yellow and each city has yellow school buses for the kids to go on? So I had to go on one of these yellow school buses when I was a kid. They were pretty crazy because I would sit in the back here and the boys would do terrible things like throw erasers and gum at each other and fight. And then the driver would just tell the boys to be quiet. It was really terrible. So do you guys know these yellow school buses? Kitty, do you know the yellow school buses of America? Yeah, you... I know it. I see it in the movies. In the movies, yeah. And they're so big that they're just kind of crazy. Um, this is called the short bus. What's kind of sad about the short bus, you guys, when you see these little buses, they're called short buses. But it's not nice to make short bus jokes because... Um, that's where kids who have physical or mental problems, um, they go on these special buses because they have little elevators to lift the kids in the wheelchairs up on it. So it's called the short bus. But, you know, if you're a mean kid, you make jokes about the short bus. You say, oh, I saw you on the short bus. It's kind of a mean joke. You know, you do you see this back door? It's to help a kid who needs to um, do you see the handicap sign. So if you have a wheelchair, there's an elevator here and it puts the wheelchair up in there. It's also an emergency bag. So that's called the short bus. But I noticed some like bad kids in America make short bus jokes. Do you see how this big door? This also has a ramp for a uh, wheelchair, right? So it's not nice to make short bus jokes. All right, very good. Uh, let me check with Ariel. Ariel, are you there? Yeah. Yeah. Ariel, thank you. Sorry I couldn't do the um, reading. We read your story about the robot helpers. That was really fun. Thanks, Ariel. Ariel, can I ask you these questions? We have beginning and the middle and the end of the story. And I've divided this into beginning, middle, and end of the story. Ariel, can you tell us what happens in the beginning of this story? Uh, at the beginning of the story is mainly talking about how Max's teacher is ready for his birthday. Nice. Okay. Maybe she's expecting some cards. In America, you you can, it's difficult. In some schools, you can give the teachers presents. Other schools say, don't do that. All right, hey, Liam, what happens in the middle of the story? In the middle of the story, Liam changes from a famous cow to Liam, the avatar. <laughs> Liam, are you there? Liam, talk to us. All right, Liam, what happens here in the middle of the story? Uh, in this middle of the story, 
um <clears throat> but uh i think uh, max max has forgot his yeah. max has forgot his teacher's present yeah is the birthday card at home yeah, yeah. Uh, he had put in his la uh, backpack last night and yeah. he had forgot to grab it from the kitchen table on his way out and yeah. uh, he and he asked for himself what should I do? What should I do? Yeah. And so, Liam, do you know this word? He panics a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice work, Liam. Liam, you got it. I was going to ask you, you know, how many mistakes does he make? He makes two mistakes. He forgets to put the birthday card into the backpack. And then he forgets to take the birthday card, even from the um, kitchen table. He forgets to do that. Hey, Alice, what happens at the end of the story? I don't know. <laughs> Alice, talk to um, us. <laughs> it was too good to have her set. So Miss Emery brought out the art supplies. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. happened in the end of the story? You're close. You're close. You got one piece of it, Alice. It was too cold to go outside. So Max stayed inside and... Happy birthday, Miss Emery. Well, he drew a huge birthday cake and then said happy what? birthday. <laughs> All right. So, Alice, this is why I did the birthday cake there for you guys. Okay. Now, this is crazy. Um, Alice, can you still talk to us a little bit? Yeah. Okay. This really funny student. You remember Susu, right? From um, mm -hmm. from the debate class. So, Susu wrote um, this story. Would you like to read Susu's story? The story takes place at a crazy birthday party in the park. It is in the spring. There are 12 kids and 9 adults. The problem is a noisy party and the friends start throwing cheesecake at each other. Middle, the adults get really angry. They have an idea to stop this crazy cheesecake war. They decide to hide all the cheesecakes. But there will only be one cheesecake left. Then the adults shout at the children that there are no more cheesecakes. The children get very sad and they start acting like dogs if they lick their faces to eat the small pieces of cheesecake left. Just like dogs. And they get even more crazy because they're acting like dogs. The adults shout even louder. Finally, the children feel bad. They promise not to waste chicken on cheesecake wars ever again. Everyone is happy and always eat cheesecake. But there is one small problem. Nobody remembers whose birthday it is. Actually, it is nobody's birthday. The kids just needed a good reason to eat cheesecake in the park. Yay. <laughs> I think it's a pretty crazy but funny story, don't you? Everyone always eats every the children, the children promise not to waste cheesecake again. They I think there will be waste um strawberry cake la uh, next time. I know, Ellis, who would waste really delicious cheesecake, right? Um let me check here now. We have some more students. We have um Tony and Red Army. Uh, Red Army, are you there? Hello, yes, Red Army. I'm Red here. Army, did you read um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid? A Diary of a Wimpy Kid? Yeah. Um, I remember I'm not, I, I'm, I wasn't. Okay, well, read this story and see if you remember it, okay? It's Tony's story from last night, if you can read it. Okay, mm, beginning. Yeah. Seven years, uh, Seven years old when my mom didn't give me any chocolate for dessert, I decided to steal some chocolate from her snack box. She didn't realize I had stolen it. Lucky me. Middle. My dog was ha hanging out with me while I was stealing the chocolate. The dog made no noise like a good boy. He's true, trustworthy. My mom came home. And I drank a lot of water, like nothing unusual was happening. My mom said, bad dog, why did you eat my chocolate? 
I was saving that for my lovely son. Ending, the dog hadn't eaten anything. I was corrupted. I felt guilty about the dog taking blame. Mom took the dog to,、uh, to the vet because it's dangerous for a dog to eat chocolate. The vet didn't do anything, but my mom told、um, the vet that the expensive chocolate is poison to a dog. The dog has its stomach pumped, and I felt really sorry for this poor doggy. The dog did get angry with me and growled. His anger last ah、uh, last day lasted a a long time for over a year. Finally, my grandpa took a, the dog. I finally took my mom and asked punishment. She made me do more chores that day. Red Army, nice reading. You have a good quality, good character to your voice. Thank you, man. Nice. Hey, John has a question. John, what's your question, Mister John?、Uh, actually, the part that Rex told his mom that he eaten the chocolate was not true. Oh yeah. So did、um, this guy? He's another Tony. Did he add some details to this story? Oh, I I think he co he copied some someone's work and then he pasted. I know he copied a little, but he just told me this story, and I just typed it down. So I'll and, tell you what. What? <laughs> and then it's not not a year until um Greg's mother gave his grandma the dog. It's only about a few months. Wonderful. Hey, John, can you start a story for me? Let's make a group story, you guys. John will start the story. I'll pick another student to do the middle, and then we'll do the end because you guys、uh, are good storytellers. So let's have John start the story, please. Anything so, is okay. What will it be?、Uh, um, anything? Pick any, yeah, pick anything. You, you, and、um, Tim have great imagination. So does Nakan. So does Alice. Um, Red Army, you guys,、uh, you guys all can make your own story. So try not to use a story like Diary of a Wimpy Kid or、uh, Captain Underpants or that Elevator Treehouse one, right? Try your own, John.、Um, can I repeat my version of the Smelly Stadium? Oh no, the Smelly Stadium got really gross. Because I, oh, oh no 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 please more no more smelly stadium that one I was trying to eat dinner and I was like couldn't eat my dinner it was so gross. Okay, so I think it will be about the great football match. Okay, the great football match. Tell me. Uh, it is um the fight fi the final of. The cup between the two country.、Uh, I think it will be the 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 alien the alien the super clever stadium and the super clever alien and the super super strong monsters. Um, the two teams. The two teams. One more. Were, were the the super clever aliens? <laughs> super clever aliens, yes. Aliens and the super strong but stupid monsters. The super strong, <laughs> but、uh, stupid. Let's say unbelievably stupid. <laughs> wow, that's even stronger. Uh, what、Monster. are they called? Monsters. Yeah. Okay. Um, question: Why are they stupid? Because they never learn anything. They didn't even know、uh, about football tactics. Ah,、uh, because. All right, pretty good, John. Let's、uh, have somebody else help us with this football story. We can write these pretty fast, you guys.、Um, who would like to add to this story? It's pretty crazy. Hey, Bone, would you like to add to this story? 
that needs change. I'm yeah. thinking. Lewis, I'm going to ask you to do the last part because you like soccer stories, football stories. And this is a pretty crazy story right from the beginning. Um, let's see, is, um, are you there, Bone? Oh no, something happened to Bone. John 12, would you like to, I'm, Bone, here. I'm here. Bone, do you like this story about the monsters and alien soccer match? Oh yes, but I'll put a chopper in there. Do you want to try the middle part? Yeah, but like before the before the match, uh, one of the aliens of the super clever aliens just die <laughs> because of drinking too much wine. <laughs> now, why was he drinking wine before a football match? I don't know, because, like, he's a stupid man. Oh, but he's the super clever, so, okay. Super, this... super clever, but he's stupid. The most <laughs> stupid. <laughs> That's really funny. What do you think? All right, so let's go to John 12. Would you like to end this story? Yes, during okay. during the match, hmm. the super strong but unbel uh, unbelievably stupid monster get lots of red flags because they don't know how to play and what? then there's no one on the field and the and the super clever aliens win the match. Won the match. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I think they they will win by um one hundred thousand to zero. <laughs> one more time. There were no player monsters left on the field mm. at the end of the match. The super clever aliens won the match by mm -hmm. one uh, one hundred thousand one hundred thousand to zero. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so, what was the the trophy's name, John? The trophy's name was Super Volcano <laughs> Eruptus Sputum. What was the name of that trophy? <laughs> uh, no. Not the trophy. I, I think that the cup will be a super big golden planet. Can you put that super volcanic, the longest word in English, can you put that in chat for me? Uh, okay. Hey, write that in chat and I promise I'll use it in the story. Ultra microscopic silico Volcano, oops, coniosis. Huh, okay. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, it's all mine, John. I'm going to take that because Tim's not okay. here tonight to take that, so I'm going to take it. Uh, but what do you think, John? <laughs> okay. Quite, quite, uh, quite an amazing what a story. <laughs> what a story. Oh, my God. I get to no get this lives. story. I want someone who hasn't had a chance to read. Lewis, would you like to read this story for us? Because you like uh, soccer so much. And these okay, guys okay. created a soccer story. Uh, there was a soccer uh, football tournament for a uh, universe cup. The two teams were the super clever alien and the super strong, but I believe the stupid monster 
while they stupid, the rip the uh the rip their ass because they know nothing about football tactics, but they still show up for a universe football championship game. Before the match one of the super clever Asian star football players die from drinking wine, this show that even super clever Alan can be stupid too. He told he was drinking a green energy drink at the same color as his skin and he trained rocket through a super wide and died. <laughs> During the match, the super strong but unbelievably stupid motor got so many red flags because they were so unbelievably stupid and bad at soccer. <laughs> this is this means there were no monster on the soccer pitch, and the super clever alien won the match. Won the match won one one thousand one hundred thousand two zero and won an extra special soccer club called the uh, the trophy. But unfortunately, the aliens all got sick from it and died. Wow, it's the best story your class has ever made. Ellis, so, what do you so think of this real. story? <laughs> do, you, do you think this is a good story or just a stupid story, Ellis? <laughs> I think it is a good and silly story. Good and silly story. Thank you, John and John and Bone and everyone who helped with this crazy story. Hey, Liam, are you there? We have enough time. We have seven minutes left. Liam, would you like to make another story to help us? Because this is the homework is going to be beginning, middle, and end style story. About five sentences for each one. So you'll have to write 15 sentences or three paragraphs. But you guys just started your summer vacation. So a little extra work as we're about to finish our class next week is good. So let's have Liam start. And then Havy can do the middle and Kitty can do the ending, OK? So Liam, give us a story. What are you interested in? Uh, I interesting about food. Okay. And um, okay. All right, Liam. Let's start the beginning. Um, there will be a fast food stand in the middle of the city. Mm -hmm. The food. The food is really good and mm -hmm. <clears throat> and lots of people lots of people were buying the buying the food so mm -hmm. they could eat so they could eat with their families, I think. Okay, it changes <clears throat> to um there was a new fast food because it's it's new. Um, and lots of people were eating the food with their families. Okay, what happens then, uh, Liam? And and then and then opposite opposite that new fast food stand is the old fast food stand. <laughs> um, it it was popular it was popular in the past time but now the new fast food stands <clears throat> the new fast food stand have made have made a lot of a lot a lot of people to buy the food so mm. the old fast food stands got angry okay. about the new fast food stand and they start argue uh, arguing each other and even call the police. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> and and the old and the old fast food stand had make a mischievous idea. Okay. They plan they will put poison into the oh! poison into <laughs> poison into the mm, the food. So. Uh -huh. All the all the people had to eat in the new fast food stand would get poison. Poisonous. Oh, no, do you, do you want to use poison? It's so serious. Let's do something else, okay? They decided mm. to put what? Uh, spider eggs. Oh, okay. Okay. I, okay. <laughs> um. So all the so all the people that eat, they will like they will be. 
scared and frightened, and they would start and they would start to talk to the <clears throat> talk to the waitresses and the manager in this new fast food stand. So, mm -hmm. um, and one of the and one of the people that eat had called the police and even hired a lawyer to sue <laughs> to sue the this new fast food stand and then there would be nobody eats in this new fast food stand and they would eat at the old fast food stand. That's all I could make up. All right, I changed that a little bit, Liam, because you're going so fast. Doong, would you like to do the ending of this story? Uh, can I add a bit, like another middle part? Okay, you want to try middle part two, all right? Yeah. Okay, here we go, Doong. Uh, so, <clears throat> the fast food chain thing advertised that uh, their food would make people become Spider-Man because it has spider <laughs> egg in it. So, uh, it made the uh, fast food restaurant to be still be as popular as it is now. So uh, people thought they would turn into Spider-Man, but they didn't. So uh, they also hire a, a, a lawyer and made a lawsuit like uh, they didn't become Spider-Man. So the false advertisement. Nice. This is when the lawyer comes that Liam was talking about. Spider-Man like that. Um, all right, so let's hear from someone who didn't get a chance. Kitty, do you like this story so far or do you think it's weird? <laughs> um, Maybe I, I don't think, I, I don't think I do. All right. How about Ariel? Ariel, are you reading this story? Yes. Yeah. Do you think it's interesting? Um, it's a bit scary. A little bit scary. Gia Khan, are you there? Can you help us? Gia Khan. Nguyen, Gia Khan, are you here? Gia Khan. All right. How about Red Army? Red Army, are you there? Yes. Red Army, can you end this story for us? Because it's becoming really complicated. Mm, I'm not good either. Conclusion. Yeah, conclusion. I mean... I'm not, I'm not like to, trying to write a conclusion. Come on. All right. How about Tony? Tony, are you there? Red Army, that's a funny response. Come on, Brendan. I don't want to write a conclusion. Tony, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Tony, sorry I didn't call on you. Can you end the story for us about the Spider-Man foe? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. After eating too much spider egg fur, people <laughs> get points on it. Now, this is going back to what Liam was saying about and... poison. And... And so they got poison. What should you do if you get poison? And the owner of the new of the the new food stain hmm. have to go to jail. Oh, my God. okay. How long did he stay in jail, Tony? Um. They go to jail. Like one year, two years, 10 years? No. 10 days? No. How long? I... 100 years. All right, we're good. 
I don't know who said that, but we'll take it. Is that Liam? Liam, you're funny. I think that's Liam's voice. Megan, how do we end the story? Can you help oh, us? Oh, teacher, end the story? teacher. Yeah. Oh, is it Red Army? Idea. Is that Red Army? No. Um. Can Can you ch change the like the good liar into Saul Goodman? <laughs> Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman. Is this a real character? Yeah. All right. Do you see what I'm writing, uh, Red Army? The lawyer was so good, he went from 100 years to just six months. <laughs> great story you guys now i'm gonna put that story into the um zalo folder for you i'm gonna put i'm gonna save all of this i'm gonna make a new pdf and then some students said brendan can you make this into a um uh what is it a um microsoft word file and that's fine you guys i'll do both okay so I'm going to put this into the thing. So your homework, I'll write what the homework is. Can you write a story with three sections, a beginning, a middle, and an end? And remember, the name of this is called the storyline, like a strong storyline that goes through your story, right? I'm just going to highlight it here. Sorry, we're about three minutes late, but um, here it is. This is called the storyline. Liam, question. Teacher. Yeah. Mm, can I use mm, can I use my mm, this story that I make to yeah you could use it use... you did so much hard work on it right <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> all right you guys will let Liam have a break but remember next week you guys have to read the story so Liam I want you to read this story best of all okay yeah. All right. I'm going to put the cheesecake story and Tony's story that he got from Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Ooh, the great football match by the two Johns and the other person. I forget who helped us with that great match. Uh, that was Bone. I forget who helped with that one. So you guys, I'm going to take these three stories and put them into a um, Microsoft Word file for you. And then you guys can use this um, as your example. Like if you say, I don't understand what we should do, you're gonna have a beautiful example right here just now. I'm gonna call it save as, uh, what's it called? Storyline sample. Storyline, three samples. And it's gonna be in yellow, I promise. Okay, you guys. So, all right, and let me save it. And then I will say goodbye to you guys one by one. So I'm going to say goodbye, Liam. Thank you for helping us start the story. John 11, did you have a final thing you wanted to say? <laughs> yeah, uh, teacher, can you please uh, copy the, the story that the, mm, I Both. and John 12 and Bowen into yeah. the chat and then I'll want... come and I'll do the homework right now. Okay. And do you want, um, John, you used to make video presentations. Would you like to do a video reading of it? Because you're a good reader and they're always fun to watch you do your video hey, presentation. Then. Is that okay? Yeah, is your little okay. brother David making problems there? Okay. <laughs> All right. What if he now disturb me again? I know that little brother. You could tell a story about your brother, how you told the aliens to take him. Doong, thank you for helping with the story. John, great work. Liam, thank you. Red Army, good to hear from you. Tony, thank you for helping with the story. Ariel and Kitty and John 12 and Havy, Nakin and Lewis and Bone, good luck on your stories. You guys write great stories anyway. Ellis, thank you. And Jennifer, thank you. And Lewis and Bone, we'll see you next week. It's our last class, but you can always take a writing class in the summer, which means I have to buy another writing book for you guys to get some more. Oh, great. my God. Yeah, it has to be sent from Amazon in America, John. So I have How to. How much does this cost? How Most much does it cost? Oh, they're really expensive now. They're like twenty-five dollars each because 
the wow. dollar got so strong against the Japanese yen um, and, the, and the Vietnamese dong. The, the dollar is too powerful now. So everything in America is really expensive for me. So, but I promise I'll get you guys the new writing book. And then if you come back for a summer school writing number three, we'll have some great new lesson ideas for you. Okay. Thanks, John. Thank Thanks, you. Ariel. Thanks, Liam. Thanks, Red Army. Thanks, Kitty. Thank you, John. Thanks, Alice. Thanks, Bon, Bye. Lewis, and Nate, and Haney. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, John. We write football Bye. match into the Bye. chat box, please. Yeah. All right. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. See you. I'll put this in yellow. I promise. Okay. See you no, guys. No, in the chat because the I'm chat. going to do the homework right now. You want to do? Well, we'll check. I'm going to put it in yellow right now. Oh, <laughs> there are some so weird. I'm going to put it in yellow right now. You don't like yellow? No, I'm going to do it right now. I promise, John. Is that okay? Okay. Right okay, now. I'll, right now. Okay. Bye, I'll see you. Bye bye. <laughs> Funny.